Hello people on YouTube, welcome back, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to more uh, The Golf Club 2 and uh, I'm just going to, I played this course on a live stream last night um, and I actually, complete, I say I completed, that is a quite a loose term for basically just really redoing all the greens, bunkers, stuff um, I'm now in the, the process where I, I went through it, I've seen some like, flaws that I wanted to kind of change. This hole was probably the first one that I'm going to do, this is the kind of big one I want to change. Um, so what I really need to do here is, uh, I probably need to take the fairway away. Um, so we go to fairway width, I want to try and keep that that size. I'm going to take it away a little bit, which is going to change the kind of dynamics of the hole just a touch. Um, so really what I do now is, now I can create a surface. Oh, fairway, that's what I need. I think I may actually have to do like a custom. I might actually go with this one. This might actually give me the shape that I need now. Probably actually really don't need to go much bigger than that. Let's see where this ends. Okay, let's put fairly down there. I want it to be short. Do we want to make it just a bit bigger? Let's just make it a bit. Oh, that's better. Right. Now what I want to do is, let's see how that ends. Um, how are we going to do this? Yeah, if I've got time. What you all about, cat? Okay, let's lay this fairway here. I, I know I've got an idea in my head, but I really need to kind of... <clears throat> maybe do the spine tool, maybe. Um, I kind of want... kind of want it coming out here and then joining up possibly here maybe there maybe there I think that's what I'm, I'm looking at. Okay. Um, so I don't know whether that is too long. And that's 282 yards from the T, which from the boy T's is, is, is pretty good. That see that's to drive this hole to get that extra distance. You're gonna have to really probably play quite a precise shot, and that's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. Right, fairway. I'll just do the brush tool here. I 
probably pick probably pick this one. And what I'm going to do is fill in the uh, this this portion. We'll just fill in between the spline here. The spline tool is actually quite good for doing paths as well, I found. So we're just really filling this in. Uh, it's quite good for doing like, different shaped fairways. So this is going to be the redesign 13. Tiny bit there, see it. Right. So that's the redesign fairway, and really, what I'm looking for off the tee is quite a precise uh, tee shot. What is the distance to there? So you're actually going to be driving just on here and no more. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to put a bunker. Bunker is going to go, and probably a, a rectangle bunker right in here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Why fit that in just there? Let's put the rotate just a touch. Let's put that right in there. Beautiful. That is absolutely, that's what we want. I, I need to recess that a little bit. So, I mean, in this video, I mean, anybody that, that hasn't used um, the course editor, just, just get in there and start messing about with it. It's the only way that you're, you're ever going to learn. There is a lot of stuff on here, but, I mean, once you get the basics to do it, it, it it's pretty easy, I think. I'll probably actually make another bunker here. Can I resize it a touch? Yep, just a bit there. That's pretty good. I don't really think we need bunkers at the side because really running out into one is probably going to be more of a danger. Um, I'm definitely put some sand traps up here. I may actually go and put square ones. Bring the size down a touch. Just put them there. If you run out, you're going to run out into these. You're just going to put a couple, space them out just a touch. You know, option maybe catching thick rough or a bunker. Probably a lot of people would prefer to be in the bunker. So let's just, just initially play this hole because we need to see if we've got the, the sizing right here. Um, let's play from the booties. Let's set one, play hole. So really I'm, I'm just, I just really need to check. Because you always get like a zero wind, which I suppose that is probably the best way to, to design a course. Because you can get a wind helping, you can also get a wind that's not helping. But then you have to really just play the whole totally different. So, let's gauge how it looks here. We've actually got space to make um, some grandstands here. I like the dip, I think the dip's good there. Uh, I like this sort of two, two drive fairway, either like a three wood or a, a hybrid or an iron. I'm going to put bunkers in the green, but I just I want to see if we've got this right. Yeah, that that's 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 pretty bang on, I think. Let's try and aim for this. I want it to be um, risky to a point, but also merits maybe good shots. There we go. We just gain that a little bit. Those bunkers are maybe a bit far away 
So you've only got 134 yards. So let's rewind the shot and play. Oh, uh, try that again. Uh, play a shot that. Oh my goodness! Hold on. Somebody said something about this. Something about the D pad. I need to switch off my. That. I can't. I can't rewind the shot because my D-pad's not working for some reason. Oh, that is that is annoying as hell. Okay, we just need to play. We just need to play this hole out. Uh, the green size is good. You know it's it, it's big, but it's not like like super massive. Oh, I can't. No, oh, please tell me I can use this D pad again. Oh, there we go. So let's just rewind back. So here's the other option that, that, that we can use. Basically, let's see what the three wood does. Yeah, three wood's probably going to be perfect. You slightly misjudged that. If you've got a wind blowing, that can be quite a difficult fairway to hit. So here we go. This is the, the three wood option. It's probably going to cost us another 30 yards. Yeah, 173. Uh, so that's, I, I really do like the way that, that's laid out, um, I mean, potentially maybe we could, a possibility we could maybe squeeze some of that down a bit. To be honest, I probably quite like the way it plays because if you do just slightly miss your tee shot, I mean, you maybe don't get the right shape on it. I mean, if there's wind blowing, it could be quite difficult to judge that. So let's go back in and edit the course again. So let's find the hole here, edit holes. Where are we? There she is. So, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with this. Uh, we could, we could move this bunker and put it here. But it could catch this shot here. Kind of like, um, I'm going to keep the trees there. I'm probably going to add trees to it if I'm honest. Um, right, let's put bunkers up at the green. We're going to use the old rectangular tool here. Probably see a nice bunker just here, just at the bottom. And we'll probably make it the size. Yep, I actually quite like that. Just drop it in there. When you're playing for 170 yards, so you don't want really much in the front of the fairway here. I'll go another one at the back, we might actually go to the square. Let me just drop some at the back here. There's another one just at this corner. 
maybe everyone just in here. Uh, usually what I do with the rough, I quite like the idea of having rough here at the back. You know, maybe not having bunkers here, but having it heavy rough. Uh, so I want to really shape out some rough here. So again, create surface, rough. I'll use the, 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 the brush tool here, let's go with triangular. Because really what I'm trying to do here is just get a little bit of I like to get just the elements of, I like to keep rough to a point. I sometimes just like to have that little square shape round out the bunkers. Can we extend that a little bit more actually? There we go. And maybe just edge this over. Bit here, just a touch. That joins that path up nice, and maybe this one here, just edge at the back. I like to keep elements of rough. Just a little bit there. Just kind of mixes it up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Uh, join these paths up. Yeah, I should just do one going along here. I just join these paths all up. It, it just it, it breaks up. It, get, it gives the course a bit of character, I think. Uh, what I might actually do it is just run. Just run one here. I just want to get that. Just to find the fairway rough. That's better. Right, let's maybe get some. Uh, let's put some tournament objects in here. Uh, what do we need? Here we've got. We've got a fairly flat area. I don't want to be too grandstandy. Probably have one of the long ones here. What is it? You've been funny today. You never ate your breakfast, boy. Now let's say advanced edit. We're just gonna drop the height a little bit. Just want to kind of frame the the, the championship t t box there a little. Let's take this round. I have a double side here. But we'll bring it up to the t so that we can line it up. That's pretty much where we need it. Just kind of eyeball it here. It's good. Sometimes what I do, once I've got this tool open, I sometimes just drop in a couple close by. I may have to actually adjust this one a little. Probably pretty decent. It needs a little bit of so tooling at this end here. So we drop this in here. And what 
I'll do is I'll just while I see this, it's easy enough to get into it. Sculpt land, flatten, and we'll just bring up just a little square. Just we need to bring this this end up here, resize the box. We really only need a little bit. Just bringing that up. Just just to now is it gonna cover this back? Stay it. Yeah, I mean that's pretty close. That's it's not it's not really gonna hurt us at all. Okay, we need to Right, we need to we need to create surface. Spline. So we need to really link this up here. Um, probably come from here, off the game, and then we need to go up, up to the T box up here. So we'll just go up like that, and that's that's that. Okay, let's go up. I don't think we need any, probably could do a camera tower. Probably put a camera tower up here actually. Probably do, let's do this one. I'll place it right there, let's rotate it. Be nice with it. But I really like the shape of this hole now. It, it's it's got like a double risk element to it. Uh, we could. I don't know whether it's too, it's too wide. I don't think it is. I think there's risk reward type thing for getting a bit extra distance. Let's put another camera tower. A camera tower that can maybe cover both holes here. Maybe put it in just a bit there. Alright, let's get some seating. You kind of want, sometimes having these ones that are, is actually better. What I'm going to do is, can I probably just sink that down if I'm honest. Nice. Sometimes you can get a, a way with just putting the seating in and just kind of making it a bit lower. I sometimes find that. Did that go in? Yeah, it did. I sometimes find that, that this one, no, this one here is better because you've actually got. A, a, it's Because it's got a, a deeper base, it actually makes for easier uh, grandstands. So let's actually put this one in. Select it. I actually want to put that just slightly off an angle. I'll actually just put it right there. Sometimes when you put this stuff in, it can make some shots quite difficult, which I think adds to the game a little bit. You can see that's nestled in pretty good. We don't. Sometimes you really don't need to do the advanced edit. That's pretty good there. I'll do it. Um, I usually take each whole individual when it comes to this kind of stuff. You, you can, I see you can overdo it sometimes. Um, I mean, we could actually put another grandstand in here. I mean, you know, we could actually put one here, which I think could be quite good in, in this portion. Again, we could actually set it in there. Would that work? 
Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if that's too much. I'm just going to put one here. I think this could be quite good. Just overviewing the, the, the driving area. Let's just set it. I'll just slightly at an angle. Right, we need to we need to adjust the height of this one, uh, and that's one of the good things about this size that this one's pretty good because what we can you can sink that right down to there, or you can go over there. You can make it a little bit higher and it sits in the ground, pretty nice. Uh, I think that's another thing that uh, the HBS Studios or whoever Maximum Games whoever makes this, they need to populate the, this. I mean, you could actually have people sitting down. It wouldn't take much to do it, to be honest. Um, you know, it'd be pretty easy to do it. So let's let's paint in some tomb the crowds. I I just use this tool, and what I try and get is a kind of happy medium between. You know, having people sort of standing about. I just put people there. And then I look towards the, the fairway here. And I just try and kind of spread them out a little bit. Put them in clumps. So I think you don't want to put them. I mean, some people might just go and just go blah, blah, spray them, but you, you want to, I think you want to have it, even just like the odd clump of people just here, and there's some in there just for, and then I'll just place them in here, put them up this hill here, put some there. You kind of want to do it so that it's kind of natural, it's not like made up. Uh, and you kind of want to place them where the kind of action zone is, where the, like, the drives are going to land, stuff like that. So, let's see. I'm actually going to put more paths in. Sometimes when you do this course editor, you really do like fluctuate between a lot of different things. Um, I'm actually going to join up this path here. I'm just going to make it straight over. Do that. Uh, the spine tool is just fantastic, if I'm honest. Uh, you can just join up. Like for instance, here I'm probably actually going to do a little path. There, just make a winding path. Pretty sort of random. And this just breaks up, up the course. So, right, we need to recess bunkers. So let's go into Sculpt and let's flatten. I like to just take some bunkers down just a touch. Um, you can either take the whole bunker down and just flatten it just a touch or you can flatten the actual bunker. I'll take this one down. I sometimes don't like it if I like it to and maybe bring the green in a little bit, just a tiny little bevel. I like so this one if we go inside the bunker here we can actually make it a deeper bunker. Uh, it's a bit of rectangle. We can actually make them quite deep. So there's a couple of things you can do with bunkers. I like to vary between making it a deep bunker and also just making it a Tool here, 
spine just a touch. Bring that down just a touch. Okay, let's go to these bunkers. Go to foot. Sometimes, if I mean, you can, you can vary it between. You can make it really quite aggressive, or you can make it sort of non-aggressive. I like to just make some bunkers quite aggressive. Again, we change the tool size here. Again, these are little kind of strepsils that you used to get. They're in those little cubes. Don't want to make it too deep. See, that just brings that, it, it, it kind of creates like a hole that, that maybe brings more balls into play. A bit of a dip. Okay. Um, so there was an idea that I had, I don't even know. Do you want me to save it? Save it from here. Because if you do, if you if you think you're going to do something that's going to be quite radical in terms of changing your your course, save it because you can always just exit. Um, I, even, I don't even know. I don't even really know if this is going to work. What are you saying, boy? Let's get zoomed in here. Um, what's the distance for that? Two, four, four. Right, let's put it two, five, five. Now I'm going to put this in. This is an idea that I had now. I, I really I don't even know if this is gonna work. Um play it from the boat. Now let's play home. It's an idea that I've got for I mean I'm gonna call it a deflection bunker, but you probably see what I mean when I right, so let's let's select the three wood here. So, the idea behind this is that it's like a bunker, but it's it's almost like you know you could tee up, and if ideally you, you need to miss that. So this is really just a test. I just want to see if this really works. So let's try and hit this. No, I'll actually skew with that. See, that actually shows that that bunker's in play. Which is good. So that test actually, I actually got some, some good uh, info on that one. Now what I want to try and do is, see if we can do it. Right, let's see. No, still not going to hit it. Let's rewind again. It's probably actually it's gonna be hard to hit, but I maybe want to place. I, I don't know if I want to really do this type of thing. Let's put a little bit draw on this. I'm still not gonna hit it. You probably get the idea that, that, that what I'm trying to do is. Maybe have a hole that, that, that looks pretty 
not like dangerous in a way, but if you if you scan ahead, you'll probably see that potentially you might actually hit this thing. I'm having trouble hitting it because it is it is actually quite a precise shot. Let's try again here. Right, we'll get that draw. Is it going to hit it? Just misses it. Hmm. I don't know if I don't know if it would work. Um, but kind of what I want is the fact that it's something that, if, say, if I put it on one side of the fairway or at a place uh, where you might have to drive, but you'd have to drive the ball and kind of not hit this thing, or you could end up going into a bunker. I, I want to hit it to, just to see how it reacts. The only trouble being it's it's quite a precise shot. I think this is gonna get close to it. Yeah, see that's what I want. Yeah, I don't know if it would technically work. Um I kinda like the idea of having that somewhere where it would need to be avoided at all costs and maybe putting like a bunker beside it. Um, so that it, it's going to catch people off. I don't know. It, it's it's, a, it's an idea that I had in my head. It's you know it's like a kind of new concept of the uh, uh, console golf design. It's it's kind of like if you I suppose you could call it a like an air bunker. You know it's it's there. It's it's, it's a physical thing. It's a bigger lump. I don't know. I don't know if I really. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. I kind of go back. I mean, I don't know if there's a way that we could actually sculpt it a bit. I don't know. I, I, it kind of, in principle, it probably would work. Um, I think it's quite a good idea, but to be honest, hmm, I think it. I think it would. I think it would work if, if I'm honest, but I don't know. So I may start shaping the fairway. You can see there, I'd just like to maybe get down in the sun. Yeah, some undulations there. I'm going to use various tools for making the greens undulate slightly. Take this a little bit from here. You know, we don't need much. Um, it's very subtle. You can always add, you know, if it doesn't feel that it's it's undulating enough, you can always add a little bit to it. Just uh, breaks up the, the fairway a little, gives it a little bit of character. Maybe this one a, little bit, a bit more severe. Again, you can rotate it again, just change it up. Uh, the, the, as I say, the the greens is probably going to be the last one that I, that, that I do this on. So that just gives a little bit of character. You can see there in the sunlight. It's pretty decent. There's lumps, there's bumps, but it's not like... I mean, I can maybe add a bit more different 
maybe make a different tool here, like maybe something like this. Just there, I can maybe add that. So it just really adds a little bit to it. So this is, would I say this hole's complete? For, for the, the time being, it, it's probably semi-complete. So let's, let's play test it again. Let's go to the blue tees and let's play the hole. So this is the redesigned hole 13 that I said I was going to do yesterday. Um, I just thought I'd take this one on. Grandstands there are, are quite nice. See the little patterns in the fairway. There's the, the safe side and also the driving side, which could be quite tricky. I quite like the way out. The crowds are good. I like the way the hole sits. I like the way the, 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 the bunkers kind of like almost frame the, the green. So here we go. If you look at the overhead, um, if we drive there, we're probably going to run into that bunker. So to hit the driver, we've got to go to that side element. Um, I mean, if the wind was blowing, you might be able to get a driver and stay short of that bunker, but that could be another option. So we're going to go bold here. Let's try and get it in here. Oh, Kind of tweak that a little bit. That's a little bit of a fade shot. Plus the fact we've got a slow backswing. See, and that's the thing I like. I mean, I'm probably gonna put more trees in this corner. So we've, a, we've got a difficult white. B, we've got these trees as a, as a problem. In fact, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play a shot that I'd never really play, and that's a punch. I don't think I've ever played a punch. That actually goes quite long, so let's maybe just put a bit of loft on it. I just want to—I really just want to see what what, what this does. Well, that's quite good, actually. Yep, I actually learned a lot from that shot. As a, again, it's a shot you don't really see a lot of people play. Twenty-eight. is not bad actually for a, a, a trip of this club. I'm going to go out a couple of yards. I could have probably put a loft on that. 30, 32 yards that I rolled out. But I really do like the... I really do like that that, that bunker and green layout. I must admit, and I probably, I probably said this before in my videos, that course design can be really challenging at, at, at times, um, but it can also be very therapeutic. And I think when you look at a game like this, I mean, people go out square, but there's something just, I don't know, there's, for me, this course has been an absolute pleasure to build because you're cutting down a lot of the, the shapes, because sometimes you're trying to get a bunker shape that's that's natural and it's, you've not used it before, but this is like square, rectangular bunker, two options. Green has got two options, square, rectangle. You can add to it, you can make it an L shape, you could actually make it a V shape. Um, there's a lot of things that that you can actually do, but I just think that looks. I think that looks pretty amazing. You know, just the way the bunkers are, it's. Uh, I don't know. It's nice. So the course is actually starting to take shape. Um, there's still a lot. There's. I've got a a list that I took last night when I played the course. Uh, but I wanted to get hole 13, I wanted to restructure it on, on screen. Um, see, these bunkers need to be in fact 14. I put 14 as ok -ish. I think I need to actually drop those bunkers down. Let's go back and edit. So what I'm going to do now is, because the game has crashed, not as much after the, the patch, 
I'm actually going to save this because I'm quite happy with that uh, 13th hole. It's pretty much where it needs to be. Um, but this course, again, as I said before, it's got a lot of stuff that needs to get done to it. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the way out. Although, I probably need to put, I'm actually going to put more trees in here. So, we'll create an add, place objects, themed trees. Now, I don't like these trees as much. I prefer these ones, the ones with the, the tall stems. Um, I just think they look better. And they kind of penalise you for hitting in, but sometimes you've actually got a path. Oh, excuse me. Sometimes you've actually got a path to head out, which I like. Um, you can hit shots between them better. Uh, I also like this hard edge, heavy rough here. Uh, you know, it's quite penalising. I'm going to drop this one back here. One here. I, I tend to do trees in like groups. I'll do this. Oh no, there. Oh, you have dead pines. Mm. I don't know if I really want them now. But you know what? I'm actually. I didn't think. <laughs> I didn't actually think they were uh, dead. So I'm probably actually going to take them out. So I'm going to multi-select these. This is something you've got to get in course here. Select. Select. Right, this one's not selected for some reason. I don't know why. I might keep that one dead one there. Right, let's... Let's delete those. Right, let's put in better trees. Oh, yeah, I like this one. I like a bit away from the trees, to be honest. So I'll plant these trees and then we'll finish off the video. But the course is really starting to take shape now. I'm, I'm happy with with a lot of the holes. Some holes need slightly redesigned. Um, I've got, as I say, I've got a list here that I need to to do. And then probably what I'm going to do is, I'm probably going to play it again and I'm going to make note of, because when you play a course you get a different feel for it. It's almost like you can build a course and not play it and publish it and there could be a lot of things wrong with it. Um, Sometimes when you play a hole, you see you see a lot of different things that just stand out. Uh, and I'll probably play test this another three or four times. Uh, I'll add stuff to it. I'll sort of flesh out trees here and there. I'll add, uh, start putting textures in the fairway, stuff like that. Uh, but it, it really does take a little bit of time. Uh, even down to planting trees like this, where you... You want there to be trees, you don't want it to be to be bare, but you don't want to overdo it as well. So I just randomly place trees here and there, and then I go into a different set of species and, and put, put those in as well. So really what all you're trying to do is create something that's random, it's not like generated. Sometimes you can actually press a tree and you can get into the multi-object, uh, which means you select more than one tree, but three or four trees. And you can actually spam the, the X button, and what, what it does is it just clumps a dense amount of trees. That can look good, like maybe if you're doing something like in here in the middle, it would work. But out here, you I think you need to be quite precise when you do trees. I, I, think, I think you can tell the difference be, between somebody that's planted individual trees and, and species of trees, and it just looks nicer. Then somebody that's just went, oh, I'll just spam in X amount of trees there and move it along. I've actually done it where I've hit the button and I've moved along like this. 
and you just spam like trees in, and it, it kind of does work sometimes. But I don't even know if I can do it. Nah. Um, you can't really do it. You can, I think, with multi objects you can do it. So I could just like move the the, the cursor along and just hit that button, and it would just like spam in hundreds of trees. One of the other good things that I find uh, breaking up the, the kind of heavy rough with uh, a sort of path through it. Now, I, I've chosen to do a uh, rough for these paths, and I think it breaks it up. But see, when you, when you plant trees, for instance, you've got a lot of segments that you plant trees in. And I think that's quite a good, a good idea. It, it just makes planting trees a little bit easier because it's almost as if you've got like. You know, you could even put a section where it's like uh, if you ever get those uh, like a book that you you colour in and it's like kind of mosaics. Well, you can do one 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 patch of trees in this one, then you can actually change to a different section. In fact, I might actually do that. So for here, we might just uh, plant pines. So let's just plant pines. I, I, I mean, this is this is the kind of thing that you do. You actually think in your feet, and you actually get to a stage where you come up with good ideas, kind of on the cuff. So I'm going to plant a couple of these. Right, let's let's select a different pine tree. Let's keep the same species here. We've actually got. I know a couple of pines. So I've got this one, let's put this one in here. I don't know if that's slightly different. Is that the same as that one? But that's like right, we'll put a couple of dead ones in. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. Just kind of sporadically put them in. Um, but it is quite, it can be quite time consuming putting trees in. But I feel with these wee sections are, are rough that we've got, it, it seems to be easier to put them in. Let's put in this other one, there's a, like a smaller tree. You can also make these trees bigger, but. Just like echo trees. So we're really just placing them kind of random. Oh, let's advance to edit this. Yeah, you can uh, see there's a problem there. You can, you kind of fixed. I, I can actually make this, this bigger. Oh no, we can't. Right, so, oh, oh, right, okay, that. Let's take that away. I thought you could actually scale it. Oh, can you scale it from here? Oh, you can. Uh, which is quite a good system, though, because it means you can plant trees and put them at various heights. I, don't know, I never actually thought of using that. Put a little one there. It's actually quite a good idea. It just makes planting stuff a little bit more random. Damn, I never thought of that. That's... You can actually make a bigger tree. Damn, that's actually quite... That makes sense, keeping it there, because you can really build trees quickly, and also at different heights. Giving you a lot more randomness, which is good. So this little comp here has became a... Pine forest. It's not really gonna. It's not. It's not as if it's gonna be a playable element of the course. It's really just for for looks. So let's see how this looks. So we built that up. It looks. It looks. It's, it's random enough to the point where you know it looks good. Now let's let's try a different tree. We've got some birch. There's, there's more pine there. Okay, 
a second big one in here. Right, let's, let's, let's move. I don't know what one this that I'm in, but there's one where you've got different colours, which I think is quite nice. So we've got three types of birch tree. So let's 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 do birch in this one. Let's just mix it up. And we'll go in quite close because I'm just interested in where the the stems go. I'm not really look, looking for because I want to pan out and see what it looks like. Oh, should it? So this probably extend this episode a little bit. Yeah, I really don't like cart paths. I, I think that the, the rough path looks a lot better. Just in that a little bit. So, I mean, I, but I really do think that, that making these little pathways through the rough, it, A, it breaks up the rough, and when you see it from above, it actually looks as if the course has been walked on and it's kind of lived in. But it also makes planting trees quite interesting because you can actually look. The kind of idea that I'm trying to get here is almost making like a patchwork. Like a group of trees in that section, a group, a different group of trees in another section, and kind of mixing it up, almost as if it was intentionally done. But somebody said, "Right, I want pine trees planted in this section. I want birch trees planted in this section. I want, is it ponderosas planted in this section?" And can I keep it like that? And I might actually spread this through the, through the course. If this, if this looks pretty decent, it's something that I may adopt. I forgot to scale the trees, we can make these bigger. I keep forgetting to do that. So it's about a bit of size variation. Now let's go and do another another birch type tree. And we'll probably actually do this one. Let's let's resize, let's go for a smaller version of it. Let's just randomly put it in. What I'm trying to do here, I'm actually trying to get like, um, almost like, I just want to see it for the first time and how it looks. You know, I want it to look like, I want to see how it looks. You know, does it look good? Does it look different? Does it look, does it look as if it's been, if, if it's been done like that? You know, oh, somebody's planted all these birch trees here. And kind of make it look like pretty decent, pretty good. So I mean, I, th I think this course is actually coming along nice. I don't know how many courses I'll build. I I want to I want to start maybe building another course. Um, building courses sometimes. I find that a lot of the time you end up. Sometimes you build a course and then you just don't like it. it it's just the way it is. Um, this course for me has been a lot of fun and I've really enjoyed building this. I think because the, the, the cr criteria for it is quite like regimented in terms of like square, angled, pixelated, that kind of theme. Um, oh, if I put that... Right, no, that's the end of the, the birch here. Let's put one in here. Let's change it to another one. Um, I think because it's been quite regimented in the fact that I've only been able to use um, certain like shapes, I think it's been a good thing. I think it's actually made the course design a little bit quicker. Because I say sometimes you can end up trying to make a different shape of bunker. How do you think it? I mean, a course might have a lot of bunkers. Right, let's, let's maybe put another couple in the middle. Let's maybe make it a little bit bigger. 
And let's just see how this looks. So this is the first time we see see this. That's actually pretty decent. Yeah, you can see there that's a different tree and that's yeah, I think that actually does I think that looks pretty good. You don't really want to overdo it, that's the only thing. You can overdo these things quite a lot. It, it's to me it's it's actually a fine balance between, you know, did that actually select? Oh, I haven't selected it. So I'm just putting some grass just to break it up. These are all elements that you put in. Um, I think this stuff just breaks it up. Again, this is stuff that really you need to just do it in sections, spend time putting it in. <coughs> oh, that's better. Ah, oh, I can't get a good sneeze. So guys, I'm probably going to end this video here. I've, I've set out, I've actually accomplished um, Rebuilding hole 13. Uh, I just wanted to do that so I, but chicane type uh, fairway just to break it up, just to give you a, something different off the tee, make, make you think on what shot you're going to hit. Um, uh, but the, the, the course editor is fun, and I would say that anybody that, that's never used it. As I say, I made a, a, a better practice putting green and I showed you how to how to make that uh, and it's dead easy. And even just go in and just just build a hole, just do one hole, build a, a par five, put bunkers, you know, do it, build it, go back and say, okay, I've, I've learned some, I've actually learned how to make a hole. I've, I've learned that I could put bunkers in it, I've learned to do this and then just take it from there. And it's a really good thing just to get in and get away from, from playing golf and just just design a golf course. It really is easy to do. There's a lot of people I think are scared to come in here and build a golf course. But it really is easy. Uh, there is a lot of skill involved to get it looking good, but I, I don't think it's that hard to do. And you only need to really know a few basic tools to, to, to get you by. Just go in there and do it, and you really enjoy it, I think. So, I put some grasses in here. Again, that just breaks it up, just adds another element to the to the course. So, hole 13 has developed, I think, into quite a reasonable hole. Um, Okay, did we actually put trees on that element that we had? Let me see. Just before I could sign off here. Yeah, we put a couple. Probably put some more, although I don't want to put too much. I want it to be. I might put some more down here actually. Let's put a bit of grass there as well. So. I'm actually going to save an exit because it's a good way to finish a video. It means that A, we've saved it, and B, we know it's. It's locked in. So that's Pixelated uh, Golfers Association Golf Club. I still need to get, maybe get a different name. Um, if I come up with a name, I'll probably, I'll probably tell you about it. Uh, but it's coming along nicely. It's, it's, it's still got a lot of days um, polishing up, and I, I need to get through this. Uh, thing I've got here like pin placement, check front tee box for hole two, green size question mark, tee flatten, four seems to be okay, flatten tee boxes, make fairway bunker, six, nine, bunkers at green, trees back, especially, deep in bunkers, fairway reshape possible, 
So I've got all these things I can work on. And it's quite good making a, a list. To do. I think there's a lot of people uh, will probably make a course and then just sort of publish it without really maybe even playing it. I like to play it. It just To me, it's actually quite necessary, I think. Um, but anyway, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, and I actually did reach 100 uh, subscribers, which is just phenomenal. I did it last night about 1 o'clock. I was watching stuff, trying to get to sleep. And I kept checking my subscriber count. Um, I checked about 1 o'clock. I actually had 100 subscribers. So, really, I mean, I probably say this in my live stream. It's probably the first thing that I say. But thanks from the bottom of my heart. It, it means so much uh, to think that people are actually subscribing and watching my videos. Um, it's. I never really thought I would ever get to 100, but I did. So... Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I say, there'll probably be more videos coming from this this golf course to up until the point when I when I actually publish it and get it out there. Uh, I do plan on making different versions. So there's going to be I plan on making like an early morning, a midday, and a sort of, sort of dusk version of it. So there's going to be three versions to play in terms of light conditions. Uh, I also plan on making a weather one as well, maybe make one in the wet, just because there's not many people put it out there. Uh, so I'm probably going to make like, four versions. Uh, anyway guys, as I say again, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day, have a nice night, take care, be safe, and I'll see you for more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching guys, see you later. And girls, bye.